Police forces in rural corners of Xinjiang province have been sending geese officers out on patrol. What is going on? Do they get like a little badge and a little hat? What? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft One Life. That's right, still alive after the Danger House. We did it guys. So, we're gonna go ahead in today's episode and name the golems, but that's coming up later on. Because first, apparently, fire manticores should now be definitely spawning in the nether. Apparently there was an issue with them, but they should definitely be spawning now. So when I went to look for one and couldn't find one, it all makes sense. Why no one showed up. So let's go ahead and see what we can uncover. What the heck is this? Oh lord, he coming. What is going on? Why is it a magma cube? Oh, it is. It's a magma cube and it's dressed as Pikachu. And it's absolutely horrific. I don't like that one bit. We're, we're not getting involved with that. We're leaving. Okay, what is this? Is this like a zombie pigman village? What's going on in here? Oh, I hear oinking. Wait, what was that? Okay, something moved over there and I'm a little bit worried. Oh, okay, you're a hunter. Can you like trade with you? I can trade with you. This is crazy. Why is this a thing? So cool, Toolsmith. Hello, Mr. Toolsmith. What can you trade with me? I get nuggets, a shovel. Nether amethyst crystal. I've never seen any amethyst crystal. I get it by giving you gold. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I wonder what they can give me if it's anything actually useful. You know what? I'm gonna go speak to the other toolsmith and I'm gonna find out what you're doing down here. It is me again, Mr. Toolsmith. I have a question for you. How come you ended up down here? Oink, I may or may not have stolen the wizard's cat, oink. So you ended up down here because you stole the wizard's cat and then he banished you to the nether. Okay, but why did you steal the wizard's cat? Like, where would you do that? Oink, it looked soft and cuddly, oink. You just liked the look of his cat, because it looks soft, so you stole it. Okay, well, where is the cat now? And then maybe he can turn you, like, back into normal villagers, so you're not pigmen anymore. A ghast ate it, oink. A ghast ate the cat. Well, on that note, I guess you're kind of stuck here forever. So goodbye for now. What a strange bunch of people. Banished from the overworld for stealing the wizard's cat. Well, after several hours of roaming the nether, unfortunately I wasn't able to find a fire manticore. But on the upside, we did encounter a strange tribe of pig people that the wizard put there. So I'll have to ask the wizard about that when I see him. Now you might be wondering, but why would you see the wizard again? Well, you see, I'm off to see the wizard because the wizard is the one who shall pick the names for my golems. That's right, he's been curating them, he's been thinking about it, he's been deciding all the names that you guys have chosen for them, and he's gonna pick his favorites. Let's go on over and see which ones he's chosen. Thus, we approach the village of the Great One Life Wizard once again. They're coming to land, but where is the wizard? They also appear to have a grizzly bear problem. I think the wizard's literally over there. But before I go see him, is this bear up to no good, or is it just chilling? We've just got a random black bear just chilling in the village. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my goodness, there's a kitty here. Hello, kitty. I don't have anything to tame you, or I would pick you up and I would take you to the wizard to give you the new cat after he's got eaten by a gas. Hello, kitty. Hello. Are you the wizard's new pet? Maybe he's got a new cat. Could have. That would make sense. It must be his new cat, I'll ask him. Also, why do villagers build their actual villagers on such awkward landscape? Look how bumpy they- I see you spying on me, hello. Hi. I'm here to- oh. Okay. What? Are you okay, sir? Are you broken? Oh, I think he needs help getting out. Is that what you need? Did someone play a prank on you? Did someone block up the entrance to your house? There you go, sir. Out you come. Yeah, I, I, I know you're nodding, but you're gonna leave. No? Okay, never mind. Wait a minute. Where's the wizard gone? You're not a wizard, you're a farmer. Oh great, one life wizard. I come before you once again. I know you're gonna be really happy to see me, aren't you? No, I really am not. I have asked you so many times to never come back and you keep doing so. Please go. Oh. I... I thought that you'd be quite happy to see me. Like I said, I am not. You're not? You're, oh, okay. 
Well, I'll, uh, I won't take up too much of your time then. Sorry about this. I've just come to acquire my names for my golems. No, I appreciate that it took you a long time to go through all of the names. You, you've selected the best ones. I appreciate that. Thank you for that great one life wizard. Let's hear those names. I have scoured the internet to pick only the best names for your golems. The lapis one shall be called Sir Lucas. The diamond one shall be called Sky. The glass one shall be called Shard. Sir Lucas for the Lapis Golem. I like it. That's a good name. That's a strong name. Sky for the Diamond Golem? Yeah? That's, that's a good name. I like that. Ah, and last but not least, Shard for the Glass Golem. That's a really good name. I like those names. Thank you, One Life Wizard. Although, I have one more question. I heard about your cat. It got stolen from you, and you banished some people to the nether. I found those people. They're still pigs, just so you know. Your spell hasn't worn off. They're, they're, they're still half human, half pig. And um, about your cat, he kind of got eaten by a ghast. So uh, that news, don't shoot the messenger. Wait, what? Don't turn me into a pig. Come back. I'm leaving. Where? Goodbye. Well, it's time to fly on out of here before I get turned into a pig. That would be an embarrassing way to get knocked out of one life to be turned into a pig man. Back home in my lovely house, it is now time to give you guys names. So let's go on over here, put that in there, and we need to name you Sir Lou. Cause that is the first name tag. <coughs> Done. Then the next name tag is Sky. And then the final name tag is Shard, which is a really cool name. I like that for the glass golem. So let's make sure we've got these right. This is Shard, so where's Shard? Shard's hiding over here. You're now called Shard. This is Sir Lucas, which is the Lapis Golem. Hello, Lucas. Are you ready to be knighted? I dub thee Sir Lucas. There we go. And Sky the Diamond Golem. Look at all his hats or her hats. He or she is pretty swole. I love it. So before we end today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and leave Yami a little gift to help give some protection to her house. What I've done is I've gathered some supplies and I'm gonna go drop off the stuff that she would need to make a diamond golem so she can have a diamond bodyguard all of her own. Just like you, Sky. who, okay. Now you pay attention. Oh, they're both paying attention. Okay, I'll, I'll leave you two to it, please. Don't squish me. I am leaving. So as you can see in my inventory, I have the diamond blocks and I have a golem head ready to leave in a chest. It would help if I grabbed all the materials for a chest before I set off. Here we are. I'm just going to plop the chest down here. Where's the chest gone? I thought I had lost the chest. There are so many chests here. Goodies in. Oh, that's actually just a load of stuff. What is that awful noise? That is awful. Where is it coming from? Please stop, whoever you are. Oh my god. Who is it? Is it you? It's taunting me. Stop. That was vile. Okay, let's put everything in here. Look, if we put it in like so, you see what I've done there, look? Already set up to be a golem. And then we're going to leave a little sign. And the sign reads, in this chest is a shiny new friend from Coil. And on that note, it is now time. Actually, speaking of shiny diamonds, we'll quickly check my shop. See if anyone's dropped any more diamonds off at my shop. I wonder how many books I've got left, actually. I reckon that quite a few maybe have been taken, although everyone's pretty upgraded. So I imagine it's just silk touch that people took, but I only had a couple of those. Okay, some people left big cat claws and ender pearls. Interesting. A few books have been taken from there, none from there. One from there, none from there. Have any been taken from up here? All the upgrades gone? All the best upgrades are gone. The later tier ones. Interesting. Well, it is now time, guys, to fly on over back home so we can do the interesting fact of the day. It's that time of the episode again. It is time for the interesting fact of the day. And today's interesting fact is from Radiating Sprinkles. And their fact is, Chinese police, instead of using police dogs, use geese squads. What? Well, what is this fact? So I've had a little look into the fact to see how true this is. So I had a little look online and I found an article. Police forces in rural corners of Xinjiang province have been sending geese officers out on patrol. What is going on? Do they get like a little badge? and a little hat. What? That is the best thing I have ever heard. Apparently they've been using them because they're extremely vigilant 
and have excellent hearing. Oh my goodness, that is the best thing I have ever heard. This article's from like 2013 though, so I don't know if they use geese squads anymore. It might have been a one-off, but that's amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave an interesting fact down below, and I'll see you guys in the future for more One Life episodes.